So today I'm going to be talking about um, another abdominal exercise because I do focus a lot on core and ab work and it's bicycle crunches, okay? So when I see bicycle crunches performed in a gym, 99% of people get this bang on, but the old person tends to rush it a little bit quick, okay? So there's no, with any kind of ab and core exercises, it is not a race at all. So please do not rush these exercises. It's all about controlling the muscles within this, uh, this part, this region of the body to get them as defined and as strong as possible, okay? So with bicycle crunches, it's exactly the same. So I've got my mat here. I'm gonna take a lie down. So what you tend to see with bicycle crunches is you've got your feet up like so, hands by your temples, okay, that's fine. You're gonna extend your one leg and your opposite elbow is gonna meet your opposite knee. So you're gonna bring that knee in and extend the other leg and then the other side. What I tend to see in gyms is this. People go in as quickly as that, okay? So to get a better benefit from this exercise, really control the movement. So you're gonna do one rep there, you're gonna hold it for one second, other side, hold for a second. That side, hold for a second, and repeat, okay, hold for a second. Make sure you fully extend that leg out on both sides, and you're gonna hold it for one second every time in between. And I can already feel that starting to burn in those abs. So it's literally all about the control. There is no race whatsoever performing this exercise, and you're gonna really feel your core muscles we're going to treat there, okay? So that's my little tip. Just literally slow the move down completely. Lift your shoulders off the floor like I just showed then. Elbow to opposite knee, elbow to opposite knee. Fully extend those legs and just take your time. Hold for a second, pause for a second whilst in that bicycle crunch position. And uh, you'll see much greater benefits from that exercise.